Hello everyone and welcome back. Now I will give you an insight about the DUCE model before we go to the practical session using the data and the software. Once the landslide happened and we start work on developing the threshold, we are looking for the information about the rainfall event that happened within the same time of the failure. And this information can be retrieved from the related rainfall gauge. But we saw that the, those stations that are allocated in a distance mode from the uh, landslide location, uh, usually the researcher chooses it based on the distance. But in here, in the model, in the DUCE model, we will try to select those stations based on the distance and also the elevation and the watershed and the slope unit. So this tool will be available on the GitHub and it also it does work on different version of QGIS start from 3.8, 3.9 and so on actually because uh, you know the QGIS keep developing and keep releasing uh, new versions so uh, since the time that I developed the tool I was working on 3.8 and I tested until 3.10 so later on if you have a problem with the uh, new versions you can stick with those versions okay So in here, in short, as we uh, have in different course talking about the landslide threshold analysis, the, uh, the threshold itself or the landslide, it's the meaning behind it is to identify the rainfall condition associated with the high probability of landslide occurrence. And it's play the uh, foremost role in the uh, landslide assessment uh, research especially when we want to develop something related to the early warning system design and also it start to input the information that as a result it try to associate each landslide to the its relative rain gauge that is we can estimate uh, the uh, triggering amount of the rainfall with the duration and intensity that it might tell us about the future landslide but here we come to the research problem that we are discussing today the research problem actually as it's presented by Garanio here in 2020 saying that there is no specific method or there is no specific uh, evidence about which is the most suitable technique that we use to select the most suitable uh, uh, approach for saying that this uh, uh, station is related to this landslide. So usually the approach is that it th there is no so uh, uh, national or international agreement about which method that we use to select those stations. So rather than uh, in a different study used by Sijoni et al. It tested 107 papers between the 2008-2016 and scanned that all of those uh, developed thresholds saying that surprisingly in about 25% of the analyzed thresholds a clear description of the method adopted for the rain gauge selection is missing. So you put here a very big question mark but in most common research the facing polygon and the nearest gauge criterion are distance dependent only so usually these two methods which is the nearest and the Thaisen polygon as you know that the Thaisen polygon is a well known uh, a special uh, analysis that it's used for the surface analysis to tell us to divide the surface into polygons and uh, the, the the targeted point it represent the center of those polygons so within this polygon that they found within any feature within the uh, the polygon that related to the center of the, the landslide if the landslide within a specific center and anything within this polygon it's the nearest from any other points from any other polygons so when we come here 
we come to this study that we mentioned about the uh, Sejonia uh, at all, when he listed all of those papers and he put something like, he called it the unspecified information. That means those information were not clearly presented within the papers or missing or it was hidden. So what kind of information were hidden from those articles? For example, the highest percentage of the uh, uh, any specified information it was about the threshold validation. So 40% of those papers didn't mention about the validation. Okay, so how they did how did they validate the threshold itself? And the other percentage within 25% of those papers, if you see 25% of 107 papers, actually this topic is not very widely common. So to find a hundred paper within uh, let's say less than uh, 10 years, uh, it's a great amount and usually those papers are uh, presented in, in high impacted uh, journals. So you can find that almost 25 uh, journal uh, didn't talk about the rain gauge selection. So actually this is uh, another point. I just want to talk something aside from our topic that when you want to uh, work on a specific research and you are searching for problem statement, you should come up with something like this. When, when somebody mentioned about missing information or missing techniques, you should see that, wow, this is a very good point to do research. For example, the threshold validation. Now for you, it's a very good start to do it. You can start to do a research about the threshold validation because it's not uh, widely applied. And why? Because it's not that easy. Okay, so don't worry that when you say, oh, can I start with this? Yes, you should go in because those researchers are also not, uh, they are not uh, less than the average. They are more than the average in terms of the scientific background. Okay, so uh, when I decided to, to do a research, I came to the second po point, which is that I found it's for me within a short time, I can manage to find something like the rain gauge selection. And that's how I produce this tool based on this research gap. Okay. Uh, another issue that the, about the uh, rain gauge selection, actually this tool that we are developing here is not dealing with the internal relationship that's mean when you check the data or you check the attribute of each station we are not dealing with this we are dealing just with the spatial location which we say the distance elevation watershed and slope unit because the ctrl tool itself it deal with the internal relationship because the tool itself is very strong and efficient so it analyzes every station with its own input Okay, but what is was missing that usually when you choose too many stations, for example, if we have a landslide here and we have those stations around, the CTRL was looking just for a specific uh, diameter. Okay, so it said that I'm searching within diameter of like say 15 kilometer. So I will consider all of those stations. But if we say that one of these stations are not related. Okay, so if we say this, one of these stations are not related, but the tool will consider it. I'm talking about the CTRL tool. So in case if we do the analysis and we get like 80% accuracy, those stations, like say this one or on this one, they are not related to this event. For example, the, the event happened on the midnight but those two stations didn't uh, refer to any uh, event within midnight. Maybe it's showing after three hours, four hours, but the CTRL tool consider this two as input. And therefore, when there will be uh, uncertainty, the uncertainty will increase because of these two stations. But what we are doing in the, uh, in the deuce, we are dealing with 
just the stations that are close enough or we think it's especially related okay and then we are considering as uh, we consider it as uh, valid in terms of a scientific uh, uh, hypothesis all right so when we come here also for another uh, interesting uh, uh, figure so here in the donut charts also the researcher mentioned that the uh, the methods employed for rainfall selection again this kind of methods that are widely applied for example the manual experts so the experts just they choose based on the uh, expert uh, decision that okay which one is most better the, the the expert who mentioned this station it's better with this landslide and another uh, they use the nearest rain gauge so also part of those survey that they did for all those papers they found that uh, also some researchers depend on the nearest one and other studies they have just single rain gauge so in, in this case actually we can't do too many things because you have just one rain gauge in your study area so you have to take it on another side they use the uh, Tyson uh, polygon as we mentioned in here okay so the researcher we choose based on those polygon center and then they have some other papers dealing with the automatic selection okay so and here some of them they didn't mention even how to how did they choose the uh, the rainfall station okay so that's why it's a valid uh, research uh, topic that you can still do the research within what is the best technique that you choose to select those stations.